Okay, hi, hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick car tour because I feel like you guys just wanna see my Toyota car. So I'm just gonna give you guys just like a brief like overview. Now let me tell you guys, if I was in Canada, I would have been driving like such a much more nicer car. Like the amount of money I spent on this car, I would have been driving a very nice, modern, like up-to-date car. But I decided to live in Jamaica, so you guys wouldn't even believe how much I spent on this car. But you guys can watch my car vlog of me shopping for this car and the drama associated with it. So anyways, if you guys are interested, um, stay tuned and let's get into this car tour. <laughs> Video about the car vlogs. Okay, my phone died, so I kind of had to change the location, but I just wanted to show you guys like quickly how it looks. That's the best I'm going to give you guys. And then to open my car, you have all you have to do is just put your hands near here, and then that will light up right here. And then you get into the car. Okay, the first thing I have is my keychain here, so this is it. So it just says, I love Jamaica. Simple. I bought this for like $150 at like a Chinese like haberdashery. And then this is my key fob because my car is a push start, but it's kind of broken. So I want a case for it. Like I want a case for it, but I haven't really went out my way to get one. But I need one because look, it broke. Well, it's breaking right now. As you guys can see, it fell like many times. So this is it. Just really simple. I really like simple stuff. If I didn't need to have keys, I think I would only just have my key fob so that's the first thing okay so that's that okay when you open the door so it's like this and it's in here it's like this so just toyota my doors are open it's like what are these called again like fabric seats i don't really like fabric seats i've got them for the first time and i don't like them i'll probably not get a car with them because like i feel like lit goes everywhere on them and i need to wash my seats again guys so just ignore it so this is how it looks and then it's push start, so you just press this button here. Push it. This is to open up my rear view mirrors, I'll show you guys. These are the rugs. I didn't know I actually needed rugs. I thought this is what I like use the entire time. But someone was telling me that I actually need actual like foot mat. This is how I open up my gas tank. This is how I open up my trunk. Okay, and this is like to control everything. I'll show you guys how I open and close my windows. So I press this, it turns on. This is to, my windows are open right now. So I press this button and here smells good yeah whenever I turn it on it it's like Japanese I don't know what they're saying supposedly this tells me like how far my gas can bring me I don't know how true that is but someone literally told me that the, like yesterday I just found that out my car has like Bluetooth radio CD it can play you can put like a USB in it it's just like very like modern which is good all the AC stuff, the time, which I always set my timing like the correct way on everything. I have like one of these things, the vents, and then this is like to make my car smell good. Up here, ah, I forgot I had this. It's just my knife in case anything you guys know. I have a safety must-haves on my channel. My, and it comes with a light. Some of the cars down here, they literally will have this, but there's no, like mirror, I was like, what's the light? Oh my god. And then this lights, the same thing over here. My windows can turn in, not my windows, my rear view. Anyway, so this is how this part looks. So in here, I keep my cord. So it has my iPhone charger cord. I always keep a base in here. So I keep my iPhone card, the base to charge it. And then yeah, so here's the iPhone cord right here that I have. And then this is for like people who like people who don't have an iPhone and they come into my car. I want to be able to like make them charge your phone because I know how it is when you're like going out somewhere and there's no charger. It's annoying. So and then like my player here right here. This player here. It literally comes with like a remote, but I don't use it. I used it once and I was like, ah, ha 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 and I never use it again. These are just extra bulb lights for my car in case any of them blows. I'm actually going to charge my phone. So I can actually charge my iPhone. Where the B clock did it go? I can either charge my iPhone up here or I can just charge it down here. And then I bought one of these. I have an extra one in here in case like this just breaks. Like I, I bought it from a cheap place. So yeah. I'm trying to do this like really fast. So you guys can see. My phone's charging. This is my cup holders. I always put like um, my drinks in here. So I have like this one here. And this one, I put like my actual drinks in. This is like a simple modern 
cup. It's worth it. It's $20. I love it. It's worth it. So I'll like put it in there. So I can never use these for water because they're too small. Like, so I have my lemonade in here actually. It's either like cranberry juice or lemonade I'll have in here. And then um, I'll walk around with my water bottle. I always have a water bottle. So we'll just usually put it in there. Me and whoever's in here. Guys, I don't know why it looks so like bright because of the lighting. But here is like the passenger side. I have these. These are like the microfiber cloths. But but people always tape these out my car. Like I don't know. They just go missing and I'm tired. I have like nice blue ones and they complimented my car. They look so good, but they're all four of them are missing. I literally had four. I put one on every single one in my car. Now in here I have like docu well, I have my lip roller for this because like they get so... I'm never getting a car with, like, material again. It's just like, not my thing. And then I have reusable st stars. I got this from YouTube in Toronto. When I went to an event with YouTube in Toronto, they gave me, like... They gave me a lot of stuff, but I have reusable straws because, you know, sometimes the the cardboard straws that they have are not really the best. So I have that in case. And then I have wipes. You can get this anywhere in Jamaica. And then I have a little, like, folder with all, all my car documents. And then I have a pen in here too. So here's the pen. Here's my insurance and car papers because I get pulled over like all the time. So I can't even get away ah! with not driving. When I was in Canada, I could get away with driving. Then here's like the pamphlet book for my car, like the instruction manual, all the stuff. And then this is for like the bottom of my car, but I literally don't know how to put these back on. Like for the footrest. So I just like left them in here like very nice. So that's how that is from back here. And then over here they can control their stuff and then that's the same exact thing oh let me show you guys too so on amazon here's another like must have that you should get so it's just like this and um it's supposed to like break your window if you like crash and your car flips over it's supposed to break your window and then you can cut your your seat belt so that's going to be linked down below in the description if you guys want to shop amazon and then in here um i have stuff in here just things i'm going to use gum I, I usually use different gum but this is the only one that they had at the supermarkets which was weird gum my the camera's not focusing i have hand sanitizer this is almost done too i have pills i have gravel i have advil everything like that it says gravel in here but i have like all the different pills in here just to keep to get nauseous i haven't had a headache in a while but i used to get them a lot and then here are some wipes i got this at dollar tree actually just to have on the go in case you need something wet to wipe your hands and then I have a spray. I think this was like $500. I got this in Spallings. You can buy the, these anywhere. Like cheap. In case you just have to touch up. And then I just have tweezers. I'm supposed to have glue in here. I don't know what happened to my glue. I don't know if I took it out and just never put it back in here. For your lashes. Because your lashes sometimes come off when you're on the road. So I have that. And then I have the safety must-haves. I'll link that video if you guys want to watch like my safety stuff that I have. That you guys can just carry around with you in case anything highly recommend but yeah so that's all for the front of my car yeah so that's all and i try to keep the car clean i eat in my car a lot so it doesn't keep clean <laughs> and then the back is just simple it's just seats blah 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 oh this is gonna actually go down like i can like where can i show you guys actually oh right here i pull right here and then this whole entire back like opens up to the trunk and then when I was moving, I put like a lot of stuff in my car and brought it. So, I like it. And then there's like this here. And then, th this opens, but like what is anyone gonna use it for? It's literally the space in it, there is like literally this big, so no one uses it. And then there's cup holders at the side again. And then there's seat belts, so. So you can eat and stuff. Yeah, this is how the back looks, simple. This is the trunk so in the trunk as you guys can see is just like um stuff to top up your car i don't know <laughs> oh, oh, oh. motor oil stuff like cleaning stuff i have like soap to clean and then i have like um and here i have a lot of stuff so i have like extra slippers in case anything happens and your slippers break which happens i have jumper cables i have deodorant because you never know I have these signs here that like if you're you need to change your tire you just put it on the road so people know something is happening up ahead and then I have this you guys have to buy this on Amazon it was like a hundred it's a hundred dollars American but in Canada it is like 120 or something but this boosts your battery and it actually works it comes with um 
these here. I'll link it down below, it's worth it. I tried it before and it works. Okay, so I'm in Runaway Bay and for some reason my car wasn't gonna turn, it wasn't turning on, I don't know, it's weird. So I was like, oh, I have this in my car. So I took it out my trunk, I plugged it on here and then I turned on my car and it charged it. This is so good. Now we can go home. <laughs> you just turn it on. Let me show you guys actually, it turns on. And then you just press, this is like for light. You guys can't see, can you? Let me show you guys, yeah, right here. So it has light here. The different levels. And then you press this button and it just boosts your car automatically. And you can like charge your phone. You can charge your phone and everything. Yeah. And then I have toilet paper. I just keep it in this bag here. Toilet paper, I have extra water. Not to drink, but in case anything happens and you need water in your car. This is a hygiene bag. It comes, has like underwear. Feminine hygiene products. I have to bring underwear. It has I have more of a box of feminine hygiene products. I have wipes, like dry wipes, in case anything. I have more feminine hygiene products. You guys never know. Like it's embarrassing being on the road and something happens. I have like a kerchief, like a rag. I have band aids. We'll be forty. He liked it. It's really it's just a quick Easy car tour the car also shows you like when a door which door is open It does a lot more stuff. But I can't really oh when you need to put on your seatbelt It'll notify you to, to put on your seatbelt, too um, It does it has a lot of other cool features and stuff. It's just a Toyota So if you guys want like I actually have a better video on like car must-haves and things you guys should have So I'm gonna link that video like no one no one literally is watching that video I don't understand why it only has like 2,000 views so you guys can go and watch that video, but it's so good It literally tells you must-haves when in Jamaica that you should have in your car at all times I showed you guys a few those ones I feel like are really important especially if you're stranded like you can charge your own battery You don't have to rely on someone to charge your battery for you And then if you don't know what cord goes into what just go on YouTube and it will tell you the, where the red cord goes and then where the black cord goes and then the seatbelt cutter and the window breaker so those are great as well so but if you want an in-depth video and like some driving tips i have that on my channel and i will see you guys in my next video mm -hmm.